4,400, it's in the red though. 34,000. You're a little robot in <laughs> Discord. Oh, really? Just a little bit. Yeah, it's just stuck at like a flat 1200. I think my internet's shitting on me again. I, I, you know, I like, I fixed some of the problems we were having. Like, I fixed the shit where it would just randomly turn off. Oh, 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 6K. We're back. We're back with a proper bitrate. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop a, I'm just gonna drop a consistent C. Uh, did that cut out? Did you hear that whole beautiful note? I heard it. You I'm heard not it. sure that was a C. But I don't know. Uh, so that's a C. Okay, I trust you. You know how I, you know how I go off a C in my head. There, someone made a version of uh, All Star where every note was C, and I just play that in my head. Somebody <laughs> once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. That's a C, baby. That just sounds like a pavement song. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty close. All right, so bit. are we ready? Are we ready to read the fucking the story of Smolder Boulder? I'm. I need to know. Opens the book for you. Doctor Smolder Boulder was a not nice man. He huffed at his family and laughed. What does huffed at his family mean? He huffed his family and laughed at his friends. Turns page. He stomped through the flowers and double dunked chips. Turns page with a smile. He defaces public statues with pictures of lips. Turns page with a serious face now. But sometimes Dr. Smolder Boulder gets angry. He gets tired of taking the blame. He knocks two and a half times at your door and screams out your family name. And if you open the door, ooh. Turns page with no face. He'll tear down your pictures, knock holes in your walls, drink your hot chocolate, pound on your floors, break your glass dishes, smash through your table, crack every window, if he's willing and able. Turns page while you realize I was never there. And when he crouches over your body, he'll say with a stony-faced grin, you shouldn't have called me a bad guy because now the doctor is in. Oh man, live it! This game is based on true stories from Hypnospace. I understand. This is getting spooky. You are drinking hot chocolate in your average, ordinary suburban house in Eastern Connecticut. What the fuck? Is it? Did wait? Did it just pull? Oh fuck. Uh. No, I'm I don't think this. Sure I, I don't think it pulls. Okay, I was gonna say, is this one of those things where it's pulling my ISP's location? Is it connected no. to the internet? <laughs> it is a coincidence. Okay, so Smolder Boulder, this happened in Connecticut. What do you do? Add marshmallows or reject marshmallows? Chat, I want your input here. Personally, I would add marshmallows. I would not reject them. Dude, I haven't had good hot chocolate in a while. <sighs> I don't like marshmallows in my hot chocolate. It's... Add, 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 add. All it right. makes it lumpy. Suddenly, you hear a knock on the door, charged with menace. What do you do? I like it lumpy, though. I like to, like, slurp up a, like, a... I got like a no, froth of marshmallow. Crazy. It's good, man. Yeah, we adding. We ain't we ain't dipping. We ain't skipping that shit. You ain't gonna have hot chocolate without good marshmallows. Suddenly, you hear a knock on the door. Charged with menace. What do you do? Open the door. Stay. Where you, what do we do? I mean, personally, if it was like the middle of the night and there was a knock on my door, I would not open the door. Hmm. I think you should open it. What do we do, chat? I'm seeing one call for ignore it, one call for open that bitch, keep it closed, open. <coughs> do we do we invite the smolder boulder into our house? Man, it's like 50-50 split right now. Alright, I'm seeing more options for ignore. Stay where I am. You you remain where you are. Why move? You got a cup of hot chocolate sprinkled with fluffy marshmallows and a peaceful night ahead of you. Or so you think. What do you do? Sip the chocolate of foreshadowing. As you raise the cup to your descriptive lips, you hear another knocking at the door. What do you do? Open the doors. Stay with your cooling drink. I'm going to open it. You go to your door, and when you open it, there's nothing there. The porch light seems darker somehow. Dimmer. Dangerous. Like a poison soup. <laughs> Log, remember that for your comic. That's fucking right in gold. Dangerous like a poison soup. Well, I, I can't copy it. 
It's a reference. Turn off the light. It doesn't have if to literally off, be dangerous. It more or less poison. I don't know. It, you don't have to rip it straight from the game, but something like a poison soup is pretty good. Better written than Yik. I don't know anything about Yik. I just know that it's about that some asshole made it. And that is bad. You're about to take another sip from your neglected drink before you hear a very weird sound, like an egg that hasn't finished cracking. What? So, like a cracking egg? It's coming from the door. Suddenly a scream, Wyatt! What do you do? At this point, so at this point, if something like this was happening to me in real life, I would presume that I was fucking dreaming. And usually in like my dreams and my nightmares, when I get sick of it, I just run at the threat. Like I just say, fuck it, I'm time to die and wake up. The, uh, so let's open the door. You open the door and see nothing, but suddenly you feel something move through you. It leaves a pit in your stomach like a stone, a stony grin. I thought that said a sexy stone. What do you do? <laughs> Close the door. Whoa! Oh my god, it's him! It's Smolder Boulder! There's something wrong standing in your living room, guzzling hot chocolate like, <laughs> like a car with thin gas. Slam, the cup shatters and ears like your ears like a gunshot. You scream! It wanted marshmallows. Dr. Smolder Boulder doesn't have hands or feet. He's a smooth, he's smooth and tall and distorted like a baby's foggy dream. Like the first fear you ever had when you were a kid. <sighs> How does he exist? Wait, what is he doing? Oh no! What do? The vision hits you like a truck, a big one. Your body suspended as something gets smaller and larger all at the same time. Bigger than the sky and tinier than an ant, it goes inside of you and stays there. It moves. You can already feel the glass beneath your fingernails and the rocks in your teeth and the splinters of wood and the bashed up leg that doesn't belong to you anymore. No. My runescape? Oh shit, it, you know, okay, you know, so here's the thing, it did lock me out. This background looks great. Sitting in front of the loot in the in front of the RuneScape torches <laughs> is fucking awesome. The uh, the doctor is in. Oh my god! He wanted marshmallows. Ooh, that fucking noise! How do you end a game? Whoa! Can I download these Smolder Boulder gifts? No, I don't think so. Still no true sight. So that was fucking great. Fantastic job, Tiffany. Round of applause. True tranquility virus apology. Me and Tim, okay, mostly Tim, would like to apologize to everyone for that gross virus thing. It was supposed to just be a joke between us, but Tim thought I would actually thought it would be cool to give everyone a joke virus, and it almost got him into big trouble. What in the world? Digital parasite reborn. That's just the thing. Oh, it's just the same one. It's not the... Yeah. My picks. Linda, do you have any new scaries for us? I don't think you're gonna top that Smolder Boulder scary. Oh no, you're just a dumbass that makes gifts. Okay, uh... Let's go back. Anything left for us in Teentopia? Or have I fully explored this? What does that thing say at the beginning? I uh, totally missed it, sorry. Go back to the top of that last page. The the Gary Girls page. Oh, never mind. There's nothing there. No, I didn't go to it yet. Are you talking about Linda or? No, 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 not Linda. The, the, the <laughs> Tiffany. I was, I was wrong. I thought there was, I thought there was something there. But there was not. Please look at the chat logs at this link and do something about these idiots. Oh wait, no, yeah, that I'm dumb. I didn't see that. They have been messaging me nonstop. I tried sending a message to Consular Ronnie and the HSPD a few days ago, but haven't had a reply. Chit Chat doesn't reply to me either. Oh, it's the that brassy kid. Hi, I'm Corey. Nice to meet you. How are you, Tiff? He's got the pizza avatar still. <laughs> hey, Tiff, what hobbies do you like? Looks like you're busy. That's okay. We can talk some other time. Bye. Hey, yeah, I was working on something. Nice to meet you too. Oh, hi. Sorry if I seem rude. It's okay. No problem at all. Glad you're back on. So, were you working on something with Tim? He does art, right? Very impressive. Yeah, he's cool. A little crazy sometimes, though. Bursting with laughter. 
Thanks for the reply. That's interesting. Do you mean that Tim is crazy in the way of being dangerous, or just crazy in a zany, funny way? To be honest, his page gives the impression that he could be dangerous, so I just wanted to make sure you're okay. Just in a funny way. Okay, good. Woo! You can never be too safe these days, which is why I've been doing karate every day with a master karate expert. So, Tiff, are you and Tim going out? Hello? Bursting with laughter. No. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, Tiff. How are you doing? You must be busy again. You should let people know you are chit-chatting. No, if you want to stop a conversation so they don't know if you have to wait for a reply and be bored. I'm running out of talking juice, if you can't tell. My sentences are starting to fail. Sorry if that sounded mean. I'm just bored. Hi, Tiff. I mean this with all due respect, but did your parents teach you manners? I am not being mean. Just curious if you understand that you are being disrespectful, and if I may, a little be a little bit rude. <laughs> Look <him. laughs> Fucking Zane. I love Zane. Oh my god. Hey. Hi. Hello. Hi. What's up? Cool. Hi. Are you a virgin? Hello. I bet you are. I know you're thinking about me. I'm naked. Are you? What's up, sexy? Never mind. You're <laughs> ugly. Suck it. Book <laughs> him. Can you report these people? Yeah. It's harassment. I guess so. Alright, so I can report these ones. Oh, I gotta report the whole ass chat. Zane is fucking great, and he's naked right now. Let me tell you. At this very moment. <laughs> he is fucking full on nude. He's hanging out with Seepage, and he's naked, and he's texting, and he's sexting girls on his He has every gun, machine gun, machine gun, RPG. He's every weapon. He's got, he's got every machine gun, machine gun. Sorry, Zane. Yeah, I agree, King Music Mans. The thing, this game is might be my fucking game of the year, but what I absolutely love about it is just how scarily accurate it is. <laughs> it's so good. To the point where, like, it's like parts of it are just straight up, like, depressing to read because how accurate they are. I don't think this one's harassment. I might be false reporting here. Yeah, that's not right. Well, that's a good one. That's fucking awesome. Wait, I can flag Dark Twilight Tiff? Important what for? Message received from All those pictures were giving her points. Yeah, really? but don't flag them. Yeah, Go no, read that's your not email. right. Go read your email. Okay. I'll read my email because you told me to. Good job out there, Wyatt, but there's more to clean up. Hey, Wyatt, I'm arranging a few normal cases for you right now, but in the meantime, see if you can find a few more violations on your own. Thanks again. Good job reporting those chit-chat screenshots. That would annoy me, too. This is a weird one because Dark Twilight Tiff isn't a defender, but she's got all the violation points. I don't think there's currently a way to transfer points to the offending citizens Important either. Message I'm forwarding this to Dylan so we can get an answer uh, ASAP. Don't flag her, please. I will not. Unauthorized software. This is a malicious software notice regarding unauthorized speed boosting software. P speed boosting? In Starport Castle Dream Station. Please utilize your enforcement tool to report and remove it as soon as possible. One of our servers is severely overloaded and keeps crashing as a result. This normally only happens at this rate if someone is using a download accelerator or a speed booster to get around Merchant Soft's bandwidth capping measures. I gotta see what this is. I think this is my favorite case in the game. A new zone for all you geeks, nerds, and other citizens with niche interests. Oh, hell yeah, a whole new zone? Oh, there's so much shit here. I'm like starting to lose my voice, but I want to keep playing. Chat, do we keep going or do I rest? I'll let you decide. We should go a little bit just to see what this section of the game is about. Well, I assume it's fucking nerds. We haven't seen a lot of them yet. But keep it's going. it's keep more. going. Okay. Trust me, it's <laughs> more. You probably won't you won't finish this case tonight, but Welcome to Starport Castle Dream Station, a new zone where fans of fantasy, science fiction, and other I already read this, didn't I? I don't even know. If your Basically. listed pages appeared in one of the following zones, they have now been relocated here. Sci-Fi Starport, the Dreamcastle, Gamers Only, Cybercog Station, the Comic Shop. The Bullring in Psy. The Bullring is an unofficial Taurus and Muleta fan resource by fans for fans. Holy shit! The Bullring has moved to the Psy Freelands. While I still love the Merchant Brothers and believe in Merchant Soft as a company, I feel it is only right to stay with my friends Soft. in these trying times. Oh, you messaged me? Hold on. What did they have to say? Change your passwords now. It seems that the passwords of multiple merchant soft personnel have been recently compromised. Please change your password immediately, especially if you have access to your to our code base. 
Mm, I don't think there's a way. Sorry. We'll get to that next year. Plus, chit chat logs aren't really our problem. They have their own rules and guidelines and they should police their own network. Well, sorry, <laughs> Tiff. Um, I don't have a password, I think, right? No. So what do I report this speed shit as? Malicious software? Yeah. Sad that it has come to this. I support my employers, but I also support my friends, so I have joined the Freelands. His name's Roddy Wall. His last name is fucking Wall. Uh, have you ever met someone with the last name Wall? Paul Wall. Paul. Linda has moved to Psy. Enter my page if you dare. Find me in the Freelands now. Oh, yeah. Well, let's go to the Psy Freelands. The Psy Freelands are on Lionel! If you're a part of the community and your page is loading slowly, go take Roddy's test to get the accelerator. He's risking his neck by... Because Merchant's Office seen fit to merge our zones, no warning, and severely limit our download speeds, the remaining members of the five deleted zones have come together to form the Sovereign Alliance of Imagination. We have decided in unison to delist, to delist our pages and form our own zone, free from the control of Merchantsoft. Come and visit and explore the Freelands. Why move? In October of 1999, Merchantsoft destroyed five of Hypnospace's strongest communities by condensing them all into one zone. Our pages now load half as quickly as well. No one knows why it happened, it just did. Now, instead of having five community leaders for each zone, we just have one, and the person they picked is just a friend of Merchantsoft. If you don't have a community leader, there's no way to report issues directly to Merchantsoft outside of waking up and emailing or phoning them. By making our own zone list in the form of freelance, we can self-moderate and rebuild. Can I join? Everyone is welcome. Contact Gil S. Creates for information on how to join and how to secure a place in the freelance. All right, let's look at the freelance. The fuck? Your shit's <laughs> barely loading. What the? F they said they were having server problems. <laughs> this shit is. This is another, this is my, this chowder might man be song. my favorite Crunchyroll song. The or Chowder Man song. song. Ready to shave. This song is unironically really good. This is inspiring me to shave. You know, unrelated, but I've been thinking about shaving. I can't I can't quite bring myself to do it. I got too I got too much of a baby face if I don't have any facial hair, but on the other side of things, my facial hair isn't actually that good. But this song, I, I don't know, it's inspiring me. I like a clean shaven face. Feels good. Good. It's been a while since I've had it, so I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe maybe I'll try it out. Maybe I'll play with the waters a little bit. Just listen to this song while you do it, and you'll be super motivated. <laughs> so are the- is there- Thank you to the Chowder Man for giving us permission to use his song Ready to Shave. Check out my page about it. It is quite a deep song. It means a lot to me. Guild the size, Stuart. How do I even access the other people's pages? Do I have to walk Did around the fucking- This is ridiculous. Are they in the <laughs> houses? They are. Starport Castle Dream Station. Hail and well met. Welcome to the Sanders homestead. Please wipe your shoes at the door. Gil's page. Okay, so Gil's the one who's doing all this shit. Look at these fucking dorks. You have just stepped into the warm abode of Gil and Sarah Sanders. On Gil's page, you'll find fantasy, sci-fi, and cybercogar of the Sanderverse and his HSM music. Sarah's page is all about on and offline fantasy interactive theater and features a few of her strong opinions. Haha. -ha. This is an anti-sacred garden home. We do not support the touchy-feely, wimpy direction their company is headed. We are founders of the Sovereign Alliance of Imagination. If you want to join a welcoming group who enjoy fantasy, sci-fi, and gaming, please contact us. We're always accepting new people. Merchants can keep trying to destroy us if they want, but we'll always rise again. Let's get a little soul patch. That's what I have right now, pretty much. It doesn't link. It doesn't connect. All right. Man, I wish there was a volume slider on just the music. I think there is. Go to the options. Oh, like yeah. The like the actual options. options. Yeah. The music is, like, super loud. Let's turn that down to, like, 30. Okay. Back to it. Let's go to Gil's page. Note for all you smart alecks out there, the page is Gil S, as in Sanders, my last name, creates. It is not Gil Secretes. Thank you. 
with that out of the way, <laughs> welcome to Kill Secretes. <laughs> These are my original compositions. Feel free to download them and use them in any way you see fit. They work very well as background music for Cybercog. Oh my god. Is Cybercog or steampunk? Please download them. Cyber, cyber Downloading Deal Cyber Cog Circus. They're so good. You have to listen to it. There's only one, right? Music I think there's added to maybe a couple. Library. <laughs> Sounds bad, Gil. Sounds fucking really fucking minis. bad. This is what steampunk clowns would sound like, huh? Yup. So I'll be a little straight with you guys. I'm pretty new to making music. I'm not terrible, but I'm still learning, so I'm not really looking for feedback right now. It's getting so fast! Yeah! The Sanderverse is my original QOSOM interactive theater campaign set in a world that I created that combines science fiction, fantasy, and cybercog in unexpected ways. <coughs> the Sanderverse is an original... I already read that. Sarinia is a character me and my wife Sarah made up. Oh, she's hot! Based on many of Sarah's real-life quirks, <laughs> Sarania is a master archer and can use telepathy to communicate with almost any being in the Sanderverse. This drawing is my own artistic interpretation of Sarinia. Click the link below to see my wife's drawings she uses in-game. Signal? Signal is played by me, Gil. He plays a guitar that is used to hack into cybercog systems when he plugs into them. The notes are interpreted as computer inputs. Signal was once a rock star, based on a little, based a little on Chowder Man. That's pretty much Chowder Man exactly, but with a cog guitar. That's he's like <laughs> punk Chowder Man. Hey, that, but he's only steampunk in his guitar. Like a, it, that guitar looks like it's from Guilty Gear. It looks like a Keyblade. So he is very charismatic and is always getting into trouble with Sarania for being irresistible to women. He must always wear sunglasses because his unshielded gaze is too powerful. Ginsby is a cyber gnome character played by our friend Stooge. His character is always trying to cause mischief and crack jokes, which is honestly a little annoying. Annoying and interrupts the game. I'll, sc I'll scan an artwork later. Weapons and items. X010001 Cluster Blade. The Cluster Blade is the most powerful weapon in all of the Sanderverse. It is the object that all characters and factions are trying to find. Data cogs. If you're familiar with Cybergog Claxic Cerixia, data cogs work pretty much the same way as they do in the book. Their contents can be decrypted and absorbed into the minds of cogwork terminals, and they can grant at people. They can grant people. What the fuck? Did it just crash my? Oh no! That just. I guess that's the first time I've ever listened to a song all the way through. Um, <laughs> that like spooked me. They can grant people abilities for far beyond what humans are normally capable of. Cogwork terminals are rare machines that are. This is fucking... That are used by human humanoids in the Sanderverse to absorb datacog data into their mind. They often go haywire, causing unintended side effects. Once absorbed, this data grants special knowledge, superhuman skills, and sometimes powerful techno-psychic abilities. Why can't I click here? Oh, no. Cogwork terminals are old, unreliable, and only a few remain. That. Oh, shit! Look at these designs! <laughs> Couch! <laughs> Couch are look like normal sofas and couches, but they actually crave flesh. They are common in the Sanderverse since I keep re wanting to say Sansverse, but that's not what this is. Fuck, fuck that slight. Unrelated. That did not just happen. They are common in the Sanderverse since most of the world consists of old high rises and dusty abandoned apartments connected to one another by metal walkways. Mammogroth. The Mammogroth, once thought of as an urban myth, is the result of a human attempting to absorb the fabled OZ1X data cog. The Mammogroth lives in the northern vine groves and is highly territorial. The Mammogroth only speaks in grunts, but has been known to communicate telepathically and is believed to be highly intelligent. Villathin. Villathin is the ruler of the largest post-Earth settlement, the Towers. He wields absolute power and is quick to dispatch of beings who stand in the way of his kingdom's expansion plans. He wields the Scepter of Leafwind, an ancient cyber Cogian tool that gives its masters control of over all plant life. Wow, that sounds scary. What a bunch of fucking geeks. That, this, yeah, this is not a very good homebrew. Let's, let's I do like at, the couch. 
Wow, look at Serania. She looks very different here. Serania is the character I play in my husband and my interactive theater campaign. Do they just play alone? That's so sad. No, they play with uh, their friends. Oh, yeah, the Ginsby. They got Ginsby. Ginsby. <laughs> they, got, they, they fight Cox with Ginsby. She is an archer with mind reading and telepathic communication abilities. Though she's an excellent archer, she only attacks when absolutely necessary. She feels a strong sense of compassion and empathy for others due to her telepathic abilities. So understanding her enemies and employing diplomacy is always how she tries to resolve things. Age 26. Okay. So far I haven't seen anything worth reporting. We're looking for Roddy, I guess. I thought Gil was the one who set this shit up, but I, he's just the leader of Psy. The ready to shave analysis page. Oh shit. A commentary on the Chowder Man's 1989 masterpiece song, Hell Yes. Forward by Grill. That's weird. What kind of music is that? A song about shaving? Get out of town. If I had a penny for every time I heard one of these informative. In <laughs> I am so close to being done. I can't talk much longer. Yeah, be done. I have to go to bed. I want to see. Let's read. It. List one last page. Let's try to get through this as best as I can. This is like what Ken Penders would have done if he never discovered Sonic. Oh my God, you're so right. That is that is that's a fucking good take on this. Report is drawing of Saurania for being ugly. Unfortunately, that's not a rule. I can't do that. So we're gonna go through this one last page. Don't forget you have hippie, but I don't want hippie to read it. That's not fun. Okay, here we go. For Cruncher. If I had a penny for every time I heard one of these ignorant statements, I would have millions of dollars. Can you blame them? They're just ignorant and uninformed. There's no appreciation anymore of fine art. Everyone just wants it now, now, now. If you really take time to listen, I listen to this record at least 500 times. Really? You will begin to appreciate kinds of music you never thought possible. All you hear now on the radio is flip-flop, with lyrics about dirty acts, shooting gangs, or sniffing drugs. What happened to when real men made real music? The music one could put headphones on after school and get lost in. Music for the thinking man. Music where they actually play instruments instead of push buttons on a computer. Ready to shave, song analysis part one. Whiskers growing, hold on, I can't listen to the song and read the lyrics. Whiskers growing at the speed of light. Put the trimmer into overdrive. Thoughts are running through my mind, just the bathroom and the night. Here we are transported to a tense scene in the chowder man's bathroom. This first verse is brilliant because it is both a story and a metaphor. A metaphor re represents something else other than the obvious thing. His whiskers, a metaphorical representing of the things holding him back in life, are growing at the speed of light. He has to put the trimmer on overdrive, quote unquote, to get rid of them. When you put something into overdrive, that means you are testing the limits of that thing. Let's take a car for example. If you overdrive a car, you are running that engine so hot that it could explode. But the advantage is that you go really fast and pass all the slower drivers. Back to the song though. He then switches to a more personal few lines where he lets us know that the thoughts are running through my mind and that he's lonely in a bathroom at night. This sets the moody stage for the rest of the song. I imagine he's in a bathroom at a truck stop, his hands trembling as he tries to frantically shave these whiskers, again a metaphor, of life. Spray the shaving cream into my hand, lather up the world don't understand, man inside the mirror now, should I finally let him out? This is fucking amazing. What, like, what a deep analysis. I would have never thought this shit through. Again, we have two lines that are the metaphor, represents another thing of shaving, and then two lines that are very personal. The line, lather up, the world don't understand, is very meaningful. The world just lets their whiskers grow. They just let all the evil consume them until they are running the rat race like all the others, bitter and consummated. The last two lines represent this hidden power that comes into play later in the song. He knows that shaving will let it out, but is he really ready? Note, the Chowder Man often brings musical or lyrical themes back later. This is known as a leitmotif in music theory. It is very complex. No, it's not done yet! I wanted to know! What was the secret power? Fuck! What a fucking disappointment. This better be fixed when we come back three weeks later. God damn it! Oh shit, you like in One Piece? You like the CP9 arc? The CP9 is, the, is still peak One Piece. Like, they... There's some good shit later on, but they never really top CP9. Um, but enough about my nerd shit. Uh, thank you so much for watching tonight. Uh, it was a blast. Hypnospace is awesome. Uh, the I had a good time reading to you guys. I hope you enjoyed story time with Wayne. Uh, 
I will most likely be back. I will be most likely back tomorrow night with something other than Hypnospace. We'll go to that for a little bit. And then we'll come on back to this game in a couple more days. So check me out. Join our Discord uh, if you want updates for when we're going live and whatnot. But, yeah, you can get live updates right there. Um, now that I'm feeling all better and I'm over some, some humps in the road, I'm over the speed bumps, I'm ready to go fucking full steam ahead. I got a couple special streams planned for you guys. If you know, if you're a longtime Wayne fan, you know something really, really nice is coming if I'm saying it's a special stream. I got two in the works. The uh, So expect those in the next couple weeks. I'm working on a video. I got fucking everything that you could want and everything you could imagine. All of your fucking dreams are going to come true. However, the only thing that I don't have is an outro. I don't have any of the outros from the old fucking stream ready because OBS. Just recreate it. Recreate it real quick. Recreate your favorite a- one. I don't have a flag. Dude, sing it. Sing it. Hmm. I might sing the O A O. Do I though? Or just play the audio. You got YouTube. I don't have YouTube. I got banned. Oh, okay. I didn't realize you uninstalled it. I don't have a flag either. Yo way oh. Do you want it? I don't want to sing it. I like, I like. I'm tired, man. I want to go to bed. Well, then play, I wanna... just play the YouTube video. Fine, I'll play the YouTube. I lied about being banned. Um, hold on, everyone. You have to. You have to. You have to show it off right. The hold on. Oh, fuck. It just, just, that's a shitty version of the video. Just hard cuts to over. Well, good night, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Tell your friends. Subscribe next time if you haven't. You owe me. Where's the button? I was going to look right in the camera, but I have to look for the button. Good-